We're going to be doing a cervical injection, and uh, this young lady is 17 years old. Our working diagnosis is viral meningitis. She's had a low-grade fever and has a severe headache that's been vomiting. And her symptoms, I think, have been going on for about three days. I just inherited her from the, the uh, outgoing doc. Uh, we have a little bit more history here as we go along, but we're gonna, she's agreed to have a uh, cervical injection to help her headache, and then we're going to be doing a spinal cap here shortly. Her CT scan was normal. So we have drawn up uh, three cc's of bupivacaine, 0.5%, and we've got a 25 gauge inch and a half needle, and we'll be using some alcohol pads to sterilize, as well as the painees for uh, managing the uh, pain. It's a vapor coolant that we're going to spray on the back of her neck. Your headache's been going on how long? Since like Monday. Monday, and today is Wednesday, so three days. And on a scale of 10, with 10 being the worst pain. 10 it was. It was a 10? Yes, now we've higher than a 10. Okay, we've given you apparently some morphine yes. and uh, some other medications too, some nausea medicines, all right? Right now it's like an eight. So it's like an eight, hurt. okay. Can you touch your chin down to your chest? Is what happens when you do it? It hurts. So you, you have kind of like a stiff neck and all. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to be putting her hair in a ponytail so we can actually visualize her neck. She's got beautiful, curly, dark hair. A lot of it. A lot more than I have. So Desiree, um, you're going to tell me exactly where you're going to do your injection. Do, do this injection. For C7, and then I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna go slightly above about a centimeter out on either side. Yeah, yeah, maybe two centimeters, but we're gonna go for this this triangle of muscles like sitting right through here, and then we're gonna use a vapor coolant to try and minimize the discomfort. She, she's uh, our patient just feels really bad, she doesn't feel good at all, so I'm gonna expect that she'll. Um, uh, do well, but if she if she complains a little bit about it, that's okay, too. So go ahead and glove up and, and uh, we'll get this procedure rolling. All right, go for it. Extracting pressure. Go ahead and put it all the way in. All right, now aspirate back. And then we're going to slowly put in one and a half ml. But use your other hand for oh, distracting pressure. Okay. Those muscles are sore. She's got some really sore muscles, I think, too. And you're going right down to one and a half ml on that. All right, our patient's doing really good, so go ahead and pull that out. Okay. And then go ahead and spray the other side. Don't stick yourself with the needle. I'm going to move over to the other side if you'll let me escape. Okay. You both frosty. Okay, good. That should be good enough. Let's get this thing out of the way here. You okay? This is one tough girl. So you're going to aspirate back and you're going parallel to the bed. So, so again, if, if your mom gives permission when your mom gets back, you know, this, this does end up on YouTube and you'll be famous. So we're going to check with you here in a minute and see if this headache goes, gets better too. This injection does work with viral meningitis. I've had it work a number of times. And uh, it may, the headache may get better for 24 hours and come back because the inciting event is still there. But... Uh, it, sh it should help you, but so we've turned the lights out, and uh, it's probably been what now since we did the injection, probably ten minutes. 
we were kind of waiting for mom to get back but um, sweetie on a on a scale of 10 your headache was like 8 out of 10 now what's it doing Three. what's that Three. so a three has the total area of your headache kind of shrunk down it has okay so where's your headache at right now mm -hmm. What's that? I don't know. You don't have it? I don't know. Okay, so so is the headache pretty much gone? I don't know. Maybe when I sit up I'll feel like... But you don't feel any headache right now? No. Okay, so 0 out of 10 right now. So yes. your headache complete, went from 8 out of 10 to 0 out of 10. That's good. That's cool. Alright, but... So we're going to go ahead and do your spinal tap next. And uh, we, we'll, I'll turn the camera off so we can do spend a little bit more time explaining that procedure to you too. Spinal tap done, spinal fluid looks pretty clear. You did a great job, and uh, on a scale of 10, what's your headache doing? Is your headache still gone? All right, so the headache's still gone, so. Mom, you wanna be on YouTube? Yeah, no, I'm fine. You're fine? <laughs> All right, we won't put you on. I'll... Wow. All right. <laughs>